Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we've got the next episode of the Garden Gauntlet where we are playing Kuzumbo. And let me start off by apologizing about last episode that uh, the quality wasn't too good. Uh, I was talking about a bunch of def technical difficulties I was having, and little did I know, uh, my OBS settings were still messed up for recording, that it wasn't recording full quality, so it kind of messed it up. And I, I went live when I uploaded the video, so I wasn't aware about it until like hours later. And then at that point, I might as well just leave the video up. So sorry about that. It should be fixed now. I, I actually tested it before doing this recording that, yes, the recording is high quality. So yeah, <laughs> uh, we should be good for everything now. Uh, okay, Marty Chorus. Okay, we're against uh, Marty Chorus. I haven't fought him too much so far. Let's go Blink. Probably go Horn Shard. Joy Jeff. And thank you. They've been following for five years? Dude, that's like that's like when I start I started streaming about five years ago. Uh October 2018 is when I got affiliate on Twitch. Which is insane <laughs> to think about. That's pretty cool. That the Marty Chorus is a follower. Where's the bounce on this? Here it is. Oh, did I mess it up? No, I didn't. I mean I kinda did. I messed it up on the little minion, but Luckily, Kuzumo clear. Very fast either way. You could contest red with him, but I, I prefer blue buff like every single time. Oh, he didn't even go for a buff. That's actually wild. I kind of pushed him through the minions. Not as much as I had hoped. He went the attack speed, movement speed shard, which I'm okay with. Actually, I, th I think this is a great matchup for Kuzumbo, by the way, because Marty Chorus has a lot of dot damage. And my two gives me my cooldowns back every time I'm hit. So, even though I've never played this matchup before, I think it's good for Kuzumbo. Marty Course is super good late game, though. Alright. He's back in, which means I can take a red buff. Yeah, he just took the minis for it. I guess he was scared I was going to stop him, which I, I maybe would have had enough time to. Uh, I'll stay. Oh, also I wanted to mention, uh, so with the new UI, I managed to fix it. My little custom god portrait you see down here. I, I have a little Python bot that replaces the image in OBS based on what god and skin I'm playing to whatever image I want. So it's working again, which is really, really nice. So, it because with the new UI, it has the corners cut off. So, I had to figure out a way to deal with that. <laughs> but hey, it's it's pretty pretty nice. It looks pretty clean with the new UI. So I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, some sometimes people will think uh, they'll comment and they'll they'll wonder how I'm doing that. And yeah, it's it's just replacing an image in my recording software. That that is just a file on my computer so it just replaces that picture and then it updates um rather than <laughs> replacing game files which some people think i do because replacing game files you can't do and even if you could that could get you banned so yeah not doing it that way i probably shouldn't have dashed in there that's all right can i push you into tower no not right now anyways i do think this is a really good matchup for kuzumbo though Especially as the game goes on. Uh, I will let you guys know the build I am trying to go right now. What I think I'm going to do... Let me sell this. What I want to do is I want to go Bancroft's Breastplate of Valor Typhons, which gives 20% pen now. It's a lot less sustained, but having 20% pen is very good. Um, and then I can go E-Staff, which should bring me to 30% cooldown and 30% pen. And then I can get Divine Ruin. Or I can get Divine Ruin beforehand. But, yeah. And then I think that's still one more item open for me. If I decide to get something else. Let's see. Bancroft's Breast... Whoops. Hello. Bancroft's Breastplate, Typhons, E-Staff, Divine. Yeah, I still have one more item slot. Which is great. And I feel like it's a pretty strong build. 30% pen, full cooldown with double life steal for sustain. Even if he gets anti-heal. This is kind of a bad fight for me because of his ult. Yeah. Well, if I push him into minions, 
No. I mean, I have blink. Oh, I tried blinking there, but his auto hit me first. Uh, let's just clear the wave and leave, I think. Oh, but I have blink. But I have blink and alt. Why would I leave? I know he has shell, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, he's healing too much. Never mind. Never mind. All right, let's get Chalice. Chalice is always worth in duel. I know I sometimes forget to use it, but it's just good sustain to have. Your middle tower is under I definitely could have gotten a kill there, but if I died, that would have been really bad. I'll just keep my keep where I'm at. He is a little bit ahead of me, though, which is bad. Just a little bit, though. Nothing to be worried about. I might go Thorn's second relic against Marty Chorus. Like, when he alts, I think Thorn's plus my two is kind of good. Okay, those are down. Let me get these good old treasure chests. I've definitely been not been good at killing them. And it gives a ton of gold. 50 gold each, because you get 25 when you hit it and 25 again when you kill it. So it's a free hundred gold when you get both treasure chests. Uh, can I afford breastplate? No, I cannot. That's fine. Did they switch the side breastplate was on? No. Could have sworn it was used to be on the left side of the tree. I mean. <laughs> Not that it matters what side of the tree it's on. He has Shoguns. That's a great uh, hunter item. He's afraid as he should be. Oh, that's his ult. This is bad for me. <laughs> I drastically underestimate Marty Corus' ult. I was like, oh, I'll just push him into tower once his ult's done. And then his ult hit me for... How much was that? I guess it wasn't even that much. It was mostly his autos. <laughs> Whatever. Your middle tower is under attack. Like I said, I don't actually have much experience fighting this god. Because for some reason, most people don't even play him. Nice securing that. But my tower is dying. 100 HP tower. Nice. Uh, I'm going to have to get Divine Ruin before Typhons, I think, with the rate he's healing. Because he has built-in life still, doesn't he? Pretty sure Marty Chorus has built-in life still. He's going to get this tower, uh, whether I defend it or not. I do have to keep in mind that Marty Chorus can take Demon King super easily as well. Oh, damn, that gives him a lot of movement speed. Oh, you have your ult again? I mean, I have my ult again. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. Pretty sure red buff just came up. Yep, cool. There's a nice triple bounce here. That I didn't hit, but I didn't need it. Uh, we'll just back. I need wards. Let's get Divine Ruin. He's healing a ton. Wards. Okay. Second relic. He doesn't have a second relic yet, so I'm not... No Ymir. Oh. Uh, not this time. It's a little sad, actually. I've been losing a ton on Ymir lately. I've been, I've been trying my regular builds i've been trying completely insane builds that i know won't work but i'm just trying new things with ymir but yeah the, the mirror duel has not been good lately which has been kind of unfortunate oh nice route that's a great route in fact he might actually be able to push me out here so you can take demon king if i'm not careful no he's just chasing me that's fine I'm staying. I have I have another chalice. 
and uh, I need to clear this wave. I don't want him to know that I know that he's there. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, he got beads? Uh, yeah, I'm mean, gonna get Thorns. I think Thorns is, is pretty good against Party Chorus. He has Executioner. Okay. A little bit scary. Terrible two by me. <laughs> oh, he's gonna take my blue buff. Don't take my blue buff, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Use the Thorns. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. That was great. That was amazing. <laughs> Good stuff. We'll play it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, homie. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, that blink was about as opportunistic as it could have been. Because if I, I don't think I could have used it any later. And I, I, I don't know. It was a, it was a good time to use it. He, now he could have like altered immediately, but then I would have been in a fine spot to just reset. So it wasn't like risky, I guess. If he beats, maybe it. I mean, yeah, maybe it would have been a little bit more risky, but. Then I would just pop my two in thorns anyways. I don't have my relics for a while. I do gotta be careful of that. Red buff's almost up. I might have to give it to him. Because I kinda need to back and get items. Oh, he's going... Was he going crusher? Yeah, I gotta give him that red buff. Uh, we'll just walk back. I have wards up. I'm gonna get some more wards right now. All right, let's get divine. Now I'm gonna go Typhons. I, th I still think Bancroft's Typhons is pretty good, even though they nerfed the life still, because like I said, Typhons has uh <laughs> twenty percent pen, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Yep, there's the Crusher. Crusher's a good item on Marty Chorus, man. But it's also good for me as Kuzumbo, because now I'm getting a, way more abilities. Just saying. <laughs> like if I if I just run at him here. Okay, maybe not running quite like that. Ooh. Damn, he does a lot of damage because he has so much pen. He got a really nice root on me when I was dashing because my 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 three cleanses roots, but it doesn't like if I'm rooted, I can use my three. But if I'm using my three, if, if I'm dashing and then I get rooted, I just completely stop, which sucks. There's Phoenix. That's all right. That's all right. Losing Phoenix is always the worst as a Guardian, but luckily, Kuzumbo is one of the few Guardians that does better in the late game, so we're okay. We're okay still. I keep messing up that bounce. Not that it matters much, but still. I mean, I could blink for that. Depends on how fast he's going to kill it. How did you get that? Genuinely, how did you get that? Damn, he's fast. This Typhon's going to give me a huge power spike, especially because he has no anti-heal too. 
Like, like this is this fight is gonna go very differently. I think, anyways. We'll see. Nice alt. Let's just use that on the wave. Reset. Let's get ethereal. Or start getting ethereal. 650s for tier 1? Okay. That really sucks he got Demon King. I mean, it doesn't really matter because my Phoenix was already down. But had I stolen that, having that little buff for, you know, the fights, plus if I kill him, I get his tower. Would have been nice. Is he getting Kinsize? I think he is. Also, do I keep saying... Why do I keep saying E-Staff when I mean Staff of Mirrodin? That, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry if I've misspoken on the item. This is the item I, I'm intending to get. And I think I was even hovering over the wrong item earlier. I don't want E-Staff, especially because he's going Kinsize. And he's a hunter with the kind of a low HP pool. So yeah, I, I just... There's, there's too many Staffs in this game. I'm going for Staff of Mirrodin. Oh, it's not even a 10% pen anymore, is it? It's 8%? And Typhons is 16%. I forgot they nerfed those. I mean, it's still good. It's still a lot of pen. It's still, what, 24% pen? Yeah. I can go a pen item with my last item, too, if I want. There's that kin size. Good old kin size. Literally had to alt to get move speed there. Oh. Is he out? Oh, do I try chasing him here? I mean, I have blink. I'm kind of... Dude. Oh, he went that way. <laughs> oh, man. He just does too much damage. At this point, this is where th I mean, having thorns kind of cool, but at the same time, I need a little bit more survivability. I'm just dying too fast. I could upgrade Bancrofts to get the one that gives me a shield, too. But I still think East or Staff Mirrodin is my priority. He's not even going at that heal. I mean, I guess he doesn't need it, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't dodge that. <laughs> GG's, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, I, I guess just late game uh, Marty Chorus wasn't... Whoops. Just wasn't expecting the damage, man. Because Marty Chorus ultimate reduces protection, so you combine that with Executioner, it basically gets to the point where it's almost true damage. Oh, that was rough. I, I kind of wish I maybe went... I mean, do I even go double defense? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, that doesn't really help. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. Let me bring up the wheel real quick so that we can see what the next god will be. Okay, so once again, we're spinning the wheel for the next Guardian. Uh, since I lost with Kuzumbo, he's still on the wheel, so we will have to play him again at some point. I really thought Kuzumbo was going to be an easy win. I, I, my win rate with him is pretty damn high. But, yeah, I just don't have the experience against Marty Chorus. Ardeo! Okay, Ardeo is fun. Probably will go uh, Tablet Destiny build or something like that. But, anyways, tune in next time, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.